Full-page ads promising relief for chronic pain, arthritis, and joint pain in the form of stem cell treatments. You see, these ads, they're popping up in newspapers and online, encouraging patients to attend seminars and then, of course, spend tens of thousands of dollars in pursuit of a cure. Yeah, but some patients tell Channel 2 it does not work, and doctors warn these treatments are not always FDA-approved. Tonight, health reporter Haley Hernandez hears from both sides of the controversy and explains when stem mm -hmm. cells can help and where the science is still lacking. Stem cells, a buzzworthy treatment with promising benefits. As you might know, I care deeply about stem cell research. Actor Michael J. Fox advocates for stem cell research, insisting a cure for Parkinson's must be there. Tarek El Moussa treats his back pain with stem cells, and Kim Kardashian is a big fan of stem cell facials. <laughs> It's true, stem cells serve as a repair system for the body. The breakthrough creating a demand with companies offering stem cell treatments costing thousands of dollars. I'm not a gambler, but I thought, wow, what I've read, the research I've done, this is like... This is almost the only way I'm going to get help. Joanna from the Woodlands says she got her hopes up after seeing this full page ad for a seminar on the benefits of stem cells, thinking it would offer a cure to her osteoarthritis pain, which is so bad she says most of her life is spent in bed. I was so apprehensive, yet then again very hopeful. But Joanna says it didn't work. I think it's shameful and disgraceful that these stem cell clinics are coming up all over the United States and especially in Texas and they are preying on people. Joanna went to Premier Physical Medicine in Pearland. The office manager tells me the treatments are not guaranteed. It is a gamble um, as far as we cannot for sure say that something will for sure work or it won't. But what we can say is that we've treated thousands of patients and we would rather under promise and over deliver than the other way around. We always want to be straightforward with people and let them know what we can expect if they follow and are compliant. The clinic brought several satisfied customers to our interview to share their success stories. My life was on the couch. I've got my life back. I don't have to suffer with the pain that I went through before. Now I feel a whole lot better. It's so much better. He's, he's pain free and that makes such a difference in a person's life. But medical experts locally and with the federal government are raising concerns. The Centers for Disease Control issued this warning in September after a company called Levion left patients with a bacterial infection during a stem cell treatment. The warning reads in part, some clinics may advertise stem cell clinical trials that do not have FDA approval, while some may falsely advertise that it is not necessary for FDA to review and approve stem cell therapy. We don't understand how to administer them, how much to administer whether or not they're going to have side effects, whether or not they're going to have any benefit. But there is promise for the future of stem cell treatments. They can be uh, used for healing, uh, potentially. Houston Methodist regenerative medicine expert Dr. John Cook warns not to get stem cell injections outside of a clinical trial. But these four Pearland patients say it was a risk they're glad they took. But would you guys recommend this to someone else? Yes. 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 The bottom line is stem cells right now are experimental. They are not likely to work for everyone, and you're spending a lot of money for the promise of better health. Joanna spent $30,000. I lost all hope. I lost all trust. There are resources where you can get credible information on stem cells. I've put them in this article for this report, which you can find on clicktohouston.com under the investigate section. Haley Hernandez, KPRC, Channel 2 News.